This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Hopewell, Virginia. Today is closing day, and you know what that means. Typically, when we have a closing, it is a celebration, and sometimes my buyers are kind enough to spend a couple of moments and share some of their thoughts, and uh, today is no different. We have a wonderful couple that has been really amazing working with them and uh, we've been through some ups and downs uh, I'm gonna let them talk about that a little bit and uh, you'll be able to hear it directly from them and here they are good afternoon good afternoon I'm gonna go ahead and hold this mic here um, actually if you want to hold it that's fine um, what's today closing, closing day. day all right all right it's closing day indeed and uh, I know that uh, this journey has been a pretty interesting uh it didn't start off with um all happy feelings tell us a little bit about the first deal uh that uh, came along for us well we uh, we liked the house that we saw the first deal we thought we had it and then it fell through because of uh someone bid it a little higher than we did so that was the disappointing thing but we are here now closing day Okay, now, there's something happened between that one and, and this one. What else happened? Uh, well, we had quite a few houses that somebody <laughs> else has outbid us. Yes. We were getting a little disappointed and a little, you know, thinking we wasn't going to get a home right away. But then this one came through after somebody else couldn't get it. So, so we were so, blessed. So tell me about the inspection process. You guys went through an inspection process with not this one, but one before this one. Tell me about that. How'd that happen? Well, we went through the inspection process and the house that we, we really wanted had structural damage to it. And the inspector told us, you know, that there were some other problems that was that was there. And we decided that because of the cost of the, the home inspection, because of the cost of the, uh, the total structure, we decided not to, to get that one at all. Okay, and then one day I called you, and what was the news about this one? The news about this one was someone um, had it, and and some happened, and he ended up not having it, and and the realtor wanted to know if we wanted it because we were the first choice before, we were the second choice before the first choice, and we decided to go ahead and go from there. It's been a journey for this one also, but at the end, today is ours. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, I'm excited. Tell me a little bit about kind of what drew you to this one and to this floor plan in particular. Well, we always wanted a first floor um, um, rancher right now because of the simple fact that, you know, we're getting a little older and we, we can't climb the stairs like we used to. We can climb them now, but we're talking about five years from now. So um, we wanted something like this, and we were um, gravitating towards Chesterfield or Henrico. But Hopewell has been a blessing to us because we've seen so many houses that we did love in Hopewell, but this house is truly the one that we wanted. Awesome. Well, I am so happy for you. It's been my honor to work with you and represent you on this purchase. and. Uh, here just in a little bit, uh, you will actually officially get the keys. But before that happens, my viewers would love to take a look and see exactly what it is we're talking about. Is that uh, something that you would be okay with? Go right Go ahead. ahead. All right, very good. I'm gonna take this mic back here from you. And um, I, I gotta share with you before I go in though, you know, agents always have their opinion of homes and kind of what they think. And sometimes we have to be uh, kind of cautious about speaking too much about what we like right. and um i know personally uh some mornings you get up and um sometimes arthur's talking in my ear <laughs> yes and uh for those of you that are viewing that have no idea who arthur is no it's not a person <laughs> no, please don't get it twisted <laughs> But uh, y'all, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Yes. All right, all right. So if Arthur ever is talking to you and you own a one story, at least you don't have to worry about navigating steps to get up and down and, and and deal with that. So, all right. Well, we're gonna go on in and take a look. And um, once again, thanks so much. And I'll see you here shortly at the closing table.
All right. All right. I'm going to go in this gate over here. And um, I love this floor plan because it is a modern floor plan. A lot of the homes that we have in uh, Hopewell and in the Tri-Cities, some of the older homes have floor plans that aren't exactly the best. I talked about space allocation on a previous video, and this one has a nice large primary bedroom and that's a huge factor if you've got large furniture you just want to be comfortable in your bedroom uh, that's important i'm gonna give you a shot here of the streetscape you guys make sure you wave make sure you wave to my, my my viewers all right very good we're gonna go in and i'll be out shortly and then we'll head off to closing all right we've got low maintenance vinyl exterior here nice open floor plan as you can see this of course is going to be their family room we've got solid surface flooring here throughout look what they did here with the uh panel the breaker panel they put a nice cabinet there over top of it just to clean it up and make it a little bit more finished we've got a, a bar there you could probably get about five bar stools there uh sit and watch the person that's cooking uh do their magic space here for a dinette nice l-shaped kitchen this is going to be bedroom number one here we are on the side of the house have a pull down attic the sellers were nice enough to leave a blackout curtain blackout curtains are great if you uh, are a shift worker or just like to be able to control the light coming in and out of your bedroom uh, they did a nice glass backsplash uh, microwave all the appliances conveyed in this home uh, that door goes off to the side we've got a small balcony there on the side and this is going to be our laundry Notice all the appliances conveyed with this property. So appliances are definitely hit or miss. Some homes will have all of them. Some won't have any. Uh, it just depends on the situation. This is going to be a coat closet there and our hall bath. This home is already coming with detachable shower heads. Uh, that has been done. I don't have to replace those. Nice bright colors in this beautiful home. Uh, here to the left is going to, you know what? I can't believe I just actually bypassed a whole bedroom. We've got a bedroom up here right behind the door. I knew something was wrong. This is gonna be bedroom number two. This is gonna be the most conservative of the three bedrooms. This would make a great home office. Uh, you've got your closet right there. And now I'm gonna take you back to the rear of the home. Uh, this is where our primary is going to be. It's important when buying to think ahead. They're thinking ahead. They know that one level living is for them. And uh, I definitely encourage people to go ahead and do that. This home is wired for an alarm system. This is a nice, large, primary bedroom. And this is one of the things that really attracted them to this home uh, is to have a nice, functional primary that you'd be comfortable in. Uh, we're now in the primary bath, have a linen closet. Actually, that's our electric water heater. Our linen closet is next to it right there. And a fiberglass tub shower enclosure, once again, with the detachable shower head. I'm not gonna take that off. Really well done. And Wait till you see the closet. One of the challenges that smaller homes have is often the closets are small too, but not in this home. You have a full blown walk in closet that just seems to go forever and ever. You could actually put some additional rods on this wall right here for even more storage space. So just a lot of space here in this walk in closet. I am so happy for my buyers and uh, I hope you are too. Uh, if you are interested in buying or selling real estate in Richmond, it would be a pleasure for me to work with you anywhere in the metro Richmond area or in the nation for that matter. I've got a network all over the country. I'd be happy to help. Max Williams, 804-402-7788 can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.